Welcome to week 10 of Thinsulin. We hope that you have practiced distinguishing various types of sugar. As you may know, not all carbohydrates and sugars are the same. Our goal this week is to learn more about artificial sugars and why they should be avoided even though they do not increase insulin. In the United States, there are five artificial sweeteners recognized by the FDA to replace sugar. They are listed in order of their level of sweetness. Aspartame, acesulfame potassium, saccharin, sucralose, and neotame. Aspartame, often seen in equal or NutraSweet, is 180 times sweeter than regular sugar and used in over 6,000 dessert products, yogurt, candies, and spices. Acesulfame potassium, often seen in sweet one, is 200 times sweeter than regular sugar and used in 4,000 products and diet soda. Saccharin, often seen in sweet and low, is 300 to 500 times sweeter than regular sugar. Sucralose, commonly known as Splenda, is 600 times sweeter than regular sugar, despite being made from real sugar. This is the least toxic type of artificial sweeteners. And lastly, also the latest discovered, is Neotame. It is 7,000 to 13,000 times sweeter than regular sugar. All artificial sweeteners neither increase insulin levels nor contain calories, hence their usage as sugar substitutes. But there are three important things that most consumers are not aware of. 1. Artificial sweeteners do not satisfy your craving for sweets like regular sugar does. As a result, you will always crave sweets. When you lose control of your craving, you will be tempted to eat red light foods. 2. According to scientific research, Artificial sweeteners may cause addiction as they create the feeling of pleasure in our nervous system similar to that of regular sugar. After the artificial sugars are consumed, the brain realizes that the sweeteners are not authentic sugar, so it will continue to tell your body to eat more sugar, which intensifies your cravings. 3. According to researchers from the University of Texas Health Sciences, artificial sweetener consumers have an increased risk of developing a pot belly by 70%. Thank you. This was brought to you by Dr. Charles T. Nguyen and Dr. Du Som Nguyen, the authors of the Thinsulin program, a breakthrough solution to help you lose weight and stay thin. Stay tuned for the next week.